Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So tonight we're uh, we bought this quite a long time ago, eight nine months ago, and it's been sat here ever since. So I bought it off Andy Arnott, and it was Tom Shaw's old car. Uh, it needs the diff welding, a bit of alignment, and a hydro handbrake, and then the young lady that's behind the camera because she doesn't want to be in front of the camera is going to drive it. So plan for tonight is to get the diff out, get it welded up, put it back in. So if we can get that done tonight, happy day. So uh, yeah, watch us do that. Right, that was a right pain to get off. These bolts weren't too bad, they weren't okay. These were okay. Those were tight as hell, managed to get them. But these ones are hex head, uh, 12 mil. We didn't, couldn't find the tool, tool for it for ages. So I found a tool, but it was too long because the wheel well's here. I had to cut it down to get it in there. But we got it in the end. So next thing is, get the back off, drain the oil, and we'll have a look at the welding it. So as you can see, that's an open diff, standard open diff. So what I've done is cut a plate to go in there and I'm gonna weld all those gears together. If I can get it in there right. I'm gonna weld all those gears all the way around there. I might cut that down a little bit more actually so it slots in there. And then that'll make all that run around together. That's it. Okay. So that fits in there nicely. It's gonna Whack a load of weld in there now. All done. Turn that. Both wheels turn at the same time. Okay, so today we're going to put it back in. We've uh, welded it all up, as you saw. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with putting it all back in I'm sure you know what's involved in that um, then we'll move on to the uh, hydro handbrake and then later on we'll show you Eva my little helper who's not here today unfortunately um, having a go at drifting right oh today so we're going to be working on the IS the Lexus IS 200 again uh, doing the hydro install it's Done the alignment on the back that was uh, the top adjustable arms just way out so they've obviously been changed and not adjusted so I sorted that so they're somewhere near straight obviously got a bit of camber on them so might have to lift it up again um, originally I had some big uh, work wheels on it and it did look super cool when Tom Shaw had it but it's just going to be a skid car so I'm not too worried about how it looks we put some spaces on the front to give a bit of clearance. Um, they're Honda wheels, so not ideal. And so we've, today we're just going to be we've put the handbrake in inside. Handle needs sorting out, as you can see. So the handbrake's in. And what we've done is we've fed the pipe through. Drill a hole here, put a grommet in, uh, and then we've got input and output here. Um, my, I think it's going to be okay. It's an aluminium bracket that I've built here, um, fabricated, so it's on the original, original screws here to hold the gator and whatnot. Um, if it's not, then we can remake it in metal. I've got a template now, so that's all done. If you want to template I can maybe make one and stick it in sh in the shop hashtag 66.com um, so today we've got 
forgot to put that into there take this pipe out and that into there so this is to the back of the cylinder inside and this one is to the front of the cylinder inside so this is in this is out and then we'll bleed it all up see how we go so if you've never done brake pipes before you need a particular tool um, this is obviously seen quite a lot of work and it's probably my dad's who's now 80 years old um, it was probably my dad's originally it's at my brother's workshop um, so you need this so how it works I'll try and show you uh, so you put the obviously put the olive uh, the we're going to probably reuse this one here and put that back over here I might have one that's the same until I get it out I'm not sure obviously don't forget to put that on first then you put it through the right hole and tighten it up that's not the right hole it's that one um, put that through tighten it up and then you have it probably uh, I don't know three mil sticking out and then that hard to show you with one hand that slides over there um, obviously it sticks out this side sorry so you've got the, the little recess there I don't know if you can see that there so you pop it out of there about three mil and then you tighten that up down and it squashes the pipe I'll try and show you uh, if I can get the camera to hold straight so there is a bending tool that you can get for this um, however I can't find mine at, or my brother's at this particular time so if you bend it fairly gradually without kinking it it should be okay so now you need to cut it to length which will be around about there got a little cutting tool fairly cheap probably about five pound Going to undo this. Obviously, you'll have a bit of white fluid that'll come out. Get back to catch that. Now, what you can do is you can cut, cut this here and reuse this uh, fitting, or you can. Put a new one on. Now I'm going to see if I've got a new one. That's quite tight. So like I say, you can either cut those off and reuse those. That's the that's the type of end that we want to see, and then it seals nicely when it's screwed down. So this forces that into there. So we're going to reuse the original ones. So we'll cut it off. So I've just cut those off. Don't forget to put that on there. Now the problem I'm going to have is having enough space. So I might have to just straighten that out again a little bit. So I can push that fitting down a little bit further. And bend it again after. That gives me plenty of room. So I get the tool, you got the flare side on there. Put that over where you want it. There's a 
know if you can see that it's just about three mil sticking out gives it enough just enough to flare out and nice and tight pop that over there and then you just put the point inside the pipe It uh, flares out. You can see there, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's nice and flared. And there we have it, that fits nicely on there. And now we bend it in place. One done. Same with this one. So we're going to go. Probably going to go round and then back down. So I'm just going to leave a spare on it. Should be that. Right, that's all bled up. Uh, I did it on my own, so I'm not sure how successful I'm going to be. Uh, the way to do it on your own is to put the pipe from the back caliper into a jar that's got fluid in. So obviously, when you come off the pedal, it pulls the fluid back back in. So it should be okay. I've never bled something with an ABS system before because I've kept the ABS system in on this particular car. So let's go and try it out. Right, -o, so I just tested it and obviously the ABS is still on. So in case you were wondering, um, this fuse here is on the back. Uh, it's a 7.5. I've just popped it in here for now just because that's a spare. And then I've popped this relay out here um, and now I'm going to try it again. <laughs> 